Okay, I'm doing the same test today with a. Uh, it's like a fluorescent bulb. It's not like a regular bulb. Uh, at first, it didn't work. And then I went to go grab it, and it turned on. It doesn't, um, it does require to be over like a thousand hertz if it's not going to be super loud. If it's anything lower, it has to be like really loud. The interesting part is, is it only works when I touch it. It's like it has to have like some type of ground field around it in order for it to work. Kind of weird. So I just hooked it up to the audio there. And uh, like I said, it wasn't working at first until I like, run my, my, my hand somewhere around this part down here. And the little CFL tube lights up. Interesting. Tried putting a magnet near it and that didn't help, it just kind of took it away. I'm sure any sound, sound probably would work through this. very bright, that's for sure. It's very dim. But it is like a weird fluorescent bulb. I'm surprised it even worked. Like I said, when it first turned on, when I went to grab it, it lit really bright, and I think I broke it. Like everything I touch. <coughs> if I give it more application, that's it doesn't seem to do anything like that. It just fries it out for a minute. And then it comes back on. Kind of interesting. I killed the other light bulb. I tried to uh, take the glass off. And then the filament lit on kind of fire real fast. Because it wasn't in a vacuum anymore. And so I was trying to mess with it and make a little, another little spring coil on it. And then the inside here lit up and pretty much burnt out whatever was ever inside there. So I wanted to like kind of make something with this, but now it doesn't seem like it's gonna work. Maybe I'll try to run it through the little plasma device and see if it will still work uh, with my flyback driver. I'll try doing something with that. <laughs> 